This week's look is brought to you by what I wish I could wear in Los Angeles, but it's too damn hot. It's just a cardigan and I'm sweating so much. Oh yeah, get ready for a lot of double chin action in this episode. Yeah, cause I'm gonna be looking like this. Burp, 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 burp. Hey ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between, welcome to Pretty Butch. My name is Reed, and today we're going to talk about three different ways to tie a tie. We're going to talk about one that's easy, one that's medium, and one that's a little bit harder than medium, but still not like crazy. First one is the one that I'm wearing right now. It's my go-to because it's even, it's a little bit more involved, so like you feel a little bit better about yourself than just doing the plain old four in hand. This one, this is the half Windsor. So you take your long end and you cross it over your short end here. And you go behind and then you go up and in the hole and down and through. Okay. And then you wanna go to the opposite side that you were just on and then go wrap it around and then up behind and up through this hole here. See, whoop. Keeping your fingers here so that you have this hole ready to put the tie back through when you come down the other side. So just put it through, whoo. Okay. And that is the half Windsor, okay? The reason why you want to go to the opposite side is so that you create this little triangle here and that kind of creates the shape of the knot underneath this part of it so that it's even and so that it just looks right. Ooh, look at that dimple too, god damn! There it is again, half Windsor. The second tie knot that we're gonna do is the St. Andrews knot. You wanna start it off with the back side of your tie facing up. So this is the front, this is the back, it's got the seam on it. You want that facing up. You want it behind, and then you're gonna go around, okay, once. And then you're gonna go up through the front, okay. And then, and then you have this little shape here. Then you're gonna go around and then up. And down, okay? Again, I do like that, okay? And then you just scoot them on up. And there you go. Looks pretty good, right? And that was simple enough. Let's try it again. For good measure, huh? So make sure that it's laying with the back side facing up. Okay, you want this one to go behind, the big one to go behind the little one, and then do one full wrap around. Okay, and then you're gonna go up through the top and down to the opposite side. And you got that shape. And then do it around, making that pocket, up through the back, and down through the front. There we go. Slide them on up. And there it is. There it is. The third one that we're gonna do is the Hanover, which I haven't had too much practice with, but I like to wear it with my thinner ties because it is a thicker knot. The same thing goes for this one. You want the back side with the seam on it facing out. The big guy is gonna be doing all the wrapping, so you want this one to be short. But okay, so we go behind with the big one. You're gonna wrap it in front and then up through the back. 
okay down on the same side and then you're gonna go around the back again up through the front down on the same side so now you have it's kind of even right there and right there and then you go around the front creating this little pocket here for it to come around the back and down the middle Ooh, look at how sexy that one is see it's a little bit thicker bigger of a knot slide it up and there it is see that one wasn't that difficult back underside facing up short guy long guy long guy goes behind wraps around the front up through the back down on the same side that it came out on then you're going to go around the back and then up through the front down on the same side that it put it went in on so now you have this shape then you can do the create the pocket for you to go up behind and then down the middle in through this little loop that you created and there it is the Hanover pretty good so do you want to do the outfit of the day we should do that all right I can show you my shoes right now. They're these babies. Oh, and my socks and my pants. I am wearing pants. Let's see, I get fully dressed for these videos. I don't just, you know, put on some chonies and necktie and cardigan. I get fully dressed. I got this tie for five dollars. Oh, babe. Also, I got this cardigan at Goodwill for I think. I'm gonna say six bucks. Bargain hunting. This shirt I got at uh, Fred Meyer when I used to live in Portland. And I got these pants. I got these pants. You see them? Yeah. They're um, Levi's. I got them at uh, Macy's. That's a good store, right? Shoes I got at DSW. The socks were a Christmas present. Hope you guys had a good week, and please subscribe, and like this video, and I... Okay, you want in, you want out, like what am I supposed to do? Louie, just let me live. See you later, bye! Come here. Oh, this is Louie. Oh, my baby. Yeah, okay, that's all.